Before we start the video, we want to thank you for taking the time to learn more about Go Beyond. We are so excited to share this important step in the journey and plan for God's church here at Discover with you. You might be wondering where Discover came from, so we're going to start from the beginning. In 1961, a small group of believers planted a church on Martin Road. Their vision? To follow God's leading to go beyond in the then sparsely populated Dublin area. The church began with a few people, an outward focus, and our great God. Over the following years, the church grew, added ministries, expanded facilities, and brought many people in the area to Jesus. The church started in an old farmhouse, but in 1964, the original building was built. The sanctuary was built in 1976. You'll recognize this today as the Student Center. The Family Life Center was added in 1997, which includes the gym and primary classrooms. The Education Wing was added in 2002 and the Worship Center in 2003. We as a church family have been blessed by these facilities. So what's next for Discover? A little over five years ago, we committed to a focus on discipleship in every ministry area. We believe that followers of Jesus should have an outward focus, intentionally loving our neighbors, serving people both locally and globally, and making disciples who make disciples. The great commandment found in Mark 12 is to love God and love others. And the great commission found in Matthew 28 is to go and make disciples. These are our mission and vision statements. Our mission is to love God, love people, and impact the world. And our vision is to reach, love, imitate, and duplicate the process. Tied to our vision are the core values, generosity, love, growth, and discipleship. So that's what we're doing, but why? We know that each person is significant, and our goal is to create an authentic place for people to belong, grow, and serve. Over the next five years, our goal is to double the number of disciples in the church. And over the next 10 years, our goal is to see the church, individuals, and families be financially free of the burden of debt. Strategically, the emphasis on disciple-making has revealed opportunities to improve our ministry impact. We do this primarily in the context of worship, groups, and service. Our strategic focus over the next five years will be relational discipleship through groups across all stages of life, intentional leadership development by equipping and empowering the next generation, implementation of a clear engagement and discipleship pathway, and enhancements of in-person and online experiences. So this is an exciting time in our church history. God is challenging us to go beyond with the goal of doubling our current post-COVID baseline of disciples. Unfortunately, the church worldwide has seen a retraction in the last two years, but we still have a strong core. Our giving actually increased in 2020 and our life groups have stayed steady. This may seem like a lot of financial talk, but the goal isn't to simply raise money. More importantly, it's to increase our faith and a commitment to our mission, vision, and values. When it comes to the stuff, our belief is not a bigger building or a bigger footprint, but a better configuration. We want to invest in people. Young adults are increasingly absent in the church. We'll be adding a young adult ministry lead to our team as well as adding an engagement role to help people of all ages get involved in discipleship. Our staff offices will also be consolidated in order to aid in collaboration and productivity. We will also be reaching beyond our walls and enhancing local ministry partnerships. 10% of our Go Beyond campaign will go towards missions. We're also brainstorming some ideas for mobile ministry and we'll be optimizing our building to serve our ministries and the community around us. If you've ever been to a party in the commons, you know, it can get a little tight. The size of the space will nearly double. The kitchen will be expanded and the restrooms will become one inclusive family restroom. The student center will also be doubled. We'll also be adding an outdoor patio space in the courtyard outside of the cafe to be used by the students and other groups in the Discover family. This will create an authentic, casual place to belong and thrive in Christ. We'll be improving our group spaces for life groups and D groups by adding flexible classroom seating and AV capabilities. 
Some additional facility updates include the worship center lobby, flooring, parking lot, and landscaping, as well as roofing, HVAC, AV, and lighting, improved video production spaces, and new signage to help us be more visible in the community. Going forward, you're going to be hearing more about Go Beyond. Teams of people have been assembled to work together on the campaign. Meetings like this are being conducted to share information and discuss plans. We will be hearing more about the vision for this project, and then we'll ask leaders, followed by the rest of the church body, to make a prayerful three-year commitment. We know that God goes above and beyond. Ephesians 3, 20 through 21 says, Now to him who is able to do above and beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us, to him be the glory of the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Ultimately, God can and will do what he will do. And we will learn to trust and listen to him and grow stronger. At the end of the day, God only wants our hearts. Prayerfully ask God this question. God, what are you asking of me so that you can accomplish your will in the church that I love? At the Welcome Center in the lobby, we will have a few physical resources available for you to pick up. These include a bookmark, a magnet, and a commitment guide to serve as prayer reminders as we go through this process together. Thank you again for joining us for this brief informational video. We hope you're as excited about what God is doing at Discover as we are.